Alright, so guys, we are back, so we are going to be doing a sword on back, um, mechanic, so, uh, how this is going to work is when the character spawns in, when they equip a tool and then unequip it, as they unequip it, we'll put the tool on their back, so, we'll only allow specific tools to work, uh, we'll have it so it's inside the script, so we can pre-make it, and it'll be uh, very easy, so, to start off, um, you do want to find a sword, so I already do have one, which is this um basic sword here. So if I have a look at this, it's uh from the toolbox, you can just search it up. I think it's just sword. Uh yep, this one right here. So you can just grab that, delete all the scripts, and you've got the sword that I've got. Um just make sure that's false. Uh you can keep that texture if you want. I will. And yeah, so this is just a basic sword. It's got no welds or anything since we don't need them. So, how this is going to work is, when this is unequipped, we will check um, for it. We'll check if we have it in the replicator storage, uh, under a folder or something. And if we do, we'll clone it to the plays backpack. Or, the plays back, I should say. So, to begin, we will need to um, make the uh, version that goes on the back. So, to make it uh, support multiple um, types of swords, so like, single... Uh, Single part and multiple parts will make it into a model. I'm going to call this model a, um, let's just go basic sword. So for the moment, I'll just make it um, match the names. So only if this uh, is found in the replicator storage, um, or this sword's name is found in the replicator storage, uh, it will put it on the back. And um, in this sword, we want a uh, part in which is set to the um is set to the upper torso's position so we'll have it go on the upper torso so that way um when the body moves around it will follow along so we have it like this set the primary part to that i'm going to call this joint um this is where it will um be at so since this will be set to the upper torso's primary part we want the front to be um on the correct side so here uh, the whole sword, so imagine this is the uh, direction that the upper torso is, the sword will be on the right of the upper torso, so we want to fix that. To do that, we'll just rotate this, so it's head on, and so when we um, attach it to the uh, rig, or the um, character I should say, uh, it will be uh, directly behind it. So this will be uh, in the middle of the upper torso. Uh, let's have a look. That will be in the middle, and then the sword will be behind it. So, we can move this sword as we need. I'm going to have it like that, and then that. Uh, maybe I'll move it up a little bit. So like that, and that's all we need to do. I'm going to turn off cast shadow fleas. And I'll make sure that they're not anchored, nor can collidable. Also do make sure they're massless. Massless. Next, um... Make sure you set the primary part, and then you want to add a joint to it. So, just type in weld, find the weld constraint. The part 0, I believe, goes to joint, and then part 1 to the handle. And then, once you're done with that, I will personally create a folder in the um, replicator storage, named uh, back tools. You don't have to, though, it's up to you. You can just have in replicator storage, but this makes it so it's organizable. Uh, next, we have everything we need, so we'll just need to do the server script. So inside the uh, starter character scripts, you want to have the, um, I'm just going to call this uh, weld, uh, well actually sword on back, like so. And we can just straight up do um, local character equal script dot parent. And then character dot child removed connect function. Uh, we'll get the child. If child is a tool, then we we'll need to search this folder. So we need uh, the replicated storage. Uh, get service. Yeah, come on. Replicated storage, and then we'll need the um, back tools. Equals replicated storage. We child back tools. If you don't have the folder, just ignore this line. Just use the replicated storage, and uh, over here we want to do and back tools find first child child dot name 
Um, you actually want to move that down here. So local model equals back tools fund first child that, and then just put that there. There we go. So if the child is a tool and we've got the back tool model, we'll take a clone of that back tool model. So local clone equals model clone clone dot parent equals workspace. Uh, we do want to set the primary part C frame, so this will not destroy worlds inside it uh, by using set primary part C frame. So it's uh, very helpful. And then we want to set this to the uh, upper torso. So we need to do local torso equals character find first child upper torso or character find first child torso. So that way it's um, filtering enabled. Oh, not filtering enabled. R6 and R15 compatible. Uh, if you do it this way, if you're just doing R15, just uh, have this one here, and put it as wait for child if you want. So like so. Oh, wait for child then. So since I'm doing R15, I just want that. I'm gonna call this one upper torso, and I'll just set it to the upper torso free C frame. Next, we need to weld it, and um. We'll just do that through a function. So we'll just do function weld, um, weld me to this. This is just how I remember it. We'll do a uh, new weld, dot new weld, uh, weld dot part zero equals weld me. So this is the, uh, this is what everything is being attached to. Then weld dot part one <laughs> equals, uh, to this and then weld dot c0 so c frame of the um the part that you're welding equals weld me dot c frame to object space uh to this dot c frame so that's just saying um get the offset between the two c frames and just set it as that and then we'll just set the world parent to the uh, to this. And yep, that's pretty much it. So we can just grab that world function and move it down here. Uh, we want to weld the uh, clones dot primary part to the upper torso. Oh, primary part. Yeah. So since we've done this world here. It will um it will weld everything else. So when you m set the parent and weld it, everything else is attached to that part that's welded to the upper torso. Uh, after that, it's pretty much done. Except there's one problem. So when you unequip and keep reequipping, it's going to um keep duping the sword. So we want to get rid of the old one. So we're doing local old model equals nil. Old model equals model clone. And we'll just do that. And then we can just do if old model, then old model destroy. And there we go. I do make sure we clone it. Yep. And that would be it. So now if we try this and we load in. Uh, I don't have anything at the moment. I equip, unequip, we get it. And if you do want it so when you equip the sword again, you can uh, you can do character dot child added connect function child if old model dot name is equal to child dot name then old model destroy. So if they've got the same name then destroy it. Now if we try that, uh, I didn't check if it was new or not, but as you can see it works. So to fix this error, you just want to do a uh, if old model then, and that should work. Uh, I don't know if you can just do that. I think you can just do that, and that will work too. Uh, yep, that works, and there we go. And it follows along. 
Uh, well, that's it for the next tutorial, so hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you do have any, let me know below. I don't think I said that in the other videos, but that's fine. And yeah, have a nice day.